Hey everyone, on the test server there was a new balance patch. It was uh, released this morning and I'm just going to react to some of the changes. If you want to join the Super Auto Pets Discord, that'll be in the description. And if you just want to read the changes without listening to me, you could just read that. I'll leave a comment with all the changes. Okay, but let's start with the buffs. So the first one, Horse, is now a 3-1 instead of a 2-1. I mean, Horse wasn't that great, so I think that could maybe help, but still one health. I don't know how much it's actually going to help. Okay, Deer, Ability, instead of spawning a 5-5, 10-10, and 15-15 bus with Chili, it now spawns 1, 2, or 3 5-5 five, five buses with Chili. Now this is labeled as a buff. I think it will help because uh, the buses will each hit for their own splash attack. So before if a 15-15 bus only hit once, that's only 5 damage of the splash attack. But now it's guaranteed that each bus hits a splash attack damage. However, it's going to be slightly harder for the deer just because you need more space to spawn stuff if you level it up, like the same amount as a rooster. But that could be good for extra death triggers for other pets. So yeah, I still think it's a buff, but cool change. Parrot is now a 5-3 instead of a 4-3, I believe. I mean, that'll help a little bit. The only thing I'm thinking of though is that White Tiger has 4 attacks, so if you do use White Tiger and Parrot, you're going to have to give the White Tiger some more stats. Okay, this is a cool one. So Whale, the abil okay, changed Whale to a 2-6, an ability to spit out pet with the same stats as when it was swallowed. I think that's crazy. So now, if a Whale swallows a 50-50, it'll spit out the 50-50 stats. I think that's really really good because you could just put whale behind anything like there's no reason not to I think like if you have the space the, the stats will carry over so yeah I'm really excited to try that one out because now you could kind of swallow anything with the whale and see what happens but yeah okay last buff change turkey ability to buff plus three plus three uh, this is how turkey used to be a while ago uh, before all the new summoning animals and it needed a nerf because it was the only way to use summoning pretty much but after like vulture and spinosaurus came in turkey as a plus two three uh just wasn't as good okay now for the reworks first one dog ability buffs plus one plus one until the end of the battle this is huge makes dog way worse now you can't just scale dog by buying stuff it's just going to be a temporary buff. I don't know how much this is going to hurt Dog, but I think it's going to hurt it quite a bit. It's not going to be nearly as good as it was before. Okay, sh changed Shark to 2-1, an ability to friend faints, gain plus 1 plus 1, triple outside battle. So the stat change doesn't really matter, okay. But the ability, so it gains 1-1 one, one when a friend dies instead of 2-2, two, two, but then it triples outside of battle. So... I mean, I had never really used Shark and Faintest stuff in the shop menu, but if you did now, it'll be getting plus 3-3, three, 6-6, three, six, six, or 9-9, nine, nine, I believe. And yeah, that could just scale really fast. If you just pill a bunch of stuff, then you don't even really need anything to die in the actual battle, because it'll get big enough. So yeah, I think that's a cool change. I'm excited for that one. Change Tabby Cat to a 4-3 in the ability to gain held food. Get give one random friend plus one plus one. Okay, so when you when the tabby gains a held food, it gives friends stats. It is now permanent stats, so that's a help because tabby before, like the one attack to everything wasn't that great. Uh, the stats, I think it went down in attack to a four three now, but I don't know how good this is gonna be because it's gained held food, give one random friend one one. I mean, those stats aren't great, and how often are you giving the tabby cat new held food? Like, maybe like, garlic or meat bone once, but then after that, you probably shouldn't be changing it that often. So, yeah, I'll see how that goes. I don't know if it's going to be great, though. Change ladybug ability to gain plus 2 attack until end of battle. So now instead of gaining 1-1, one, one, it gains just 2 attack. I think... Ladybug could still be decent because the attack is kind of what matters for killing stuff, but then, yeah, I'm actually not quite sure. I think this will hurt Ladybug quite a bit. Maybe it'll be, maybe it'll be better in the beginning rounds, but then fall off faster. 
Oh well. Change turtle to a 2 3, tier 4. So instead of being a tier 3, you are now going to find it as tier 4. I think that's a cool change because turtle is just quite good for its melon armor. You just like take it and pill it as soon as you find it. And yeah, maybe as a tier 4, won't be quite as good, but I think it'll still be quite decent to use when you find it. But at least you could use some other foods like maybe pepper if you find it. It won't always be melon. Change dolphin to a 4-3 and a tier 3. And now the ability deals 4 damage. Uh, I think that's crazy. A tier 3 dolphin, even if it does 4 damage. I think that'll be crazy on tier 3. Like you could get a turn 3 dolphin if you level up. Uh, I'm excited for this change. I'm excited to to use dolphin a lot. I feel like this might be one of my favorite changes because I don't know. I Dolphin was still kind of good before but especially if you could get it earlier the 4 damage isn't that bad. So yeah should be pretty good. Changed Badger to a tier 4 and now the ability deals 100%, 200% and 300% damage. I think this is needed. Badger before dealing 50% damage as a tier 3 it was just so bad it was so hard to get it to work it never really did anything but now it's actually gonna be able to do stuff you're just gonna find it later but I think that's a huge improvement changed skunk to 2-4 but it's a tier 3 so skunk being a tier 3 you're gonna find it earlier however I don't know if it makes it crazy better because the animals are gonna have less stats early on but it should still help actually. Not quite sure what to think of this, but it's cool that Skunk is also going down a tier. Changed Hatching Chick to a 2 2 and the ability buffs plus 4 plus 4. So, th so before Hatching Chick was a 1 1 and it buffs 5 5. Uh, this change, I think Hatching Chick was a little too good with its buff. Like you could just buff an ox for 5 5 and that was really, really good. So I think buffing 4-4 is a fine change, and the plus 1-1 one one on the stats are. I mean, it doesn't really help it that much, but I guess it's cool. Changed Spider's ability, so it spawns a 2-2, two 4-4, two, four four, and 6-6 six six when it uh, levels up, instead of just always a 2-2. Two two. I think that's really cool, because when you would get a level 2 spider before and pill it, it's like... If you get the wrong animal, a 2-2 version of it is so sad, especially like a camel, it just dies in one hit. I mean, you would always put another one on top, I guess, but now its stats go up. I think that's how it used to work before, but very cool. Changed chicken to a 3-4 tier 6. So they saw how oppressive chicken was, and they made it to tier 6 now. Also increased stats, but that doesn't really matter because that's not what you use a chicken for. So you're not going to find chicken until later. I mean, that'll probably hurt a lot because the main problem with chicken is that you need to keep enough lives so that when you actually do pivot into chicken, you can afford to lose some. So having it later means you're going to have to, I mean, fight bigger teams while you're trying to scale the chicken. And it'll, like, you'll probably drain a couple more lives, but okay. Now, Lioness is back to a tier 5. When Lioness was a tier 5 before, I honestly thought it was kind of oppressive. I mean, this was back in the test server a while ago, but I used to get 50-50 shops all the time with Lioness and not Chicken. But now that Chicken's been good and Lioness has been bad, their tiers are switched. Let's see if Lioness becomes too good. I don't think it'll be too good. I mean, plus 2-2 two, two is good, but I don't know how much that'll change things. <clears throat> Lastly, Sorpai is a 4-5 tier 5. I think that's a good change for it. I don't think the stats matter too much. I don't remember what it was. I think it was like a 4-10 if I'm right, maybe 3-10. But yeah, being a tier 5 should help it a lot, especially because a lot of food animals aren't tier 6. Now for the nerfs. First up on the list, it's Buffalo. The ability only works 2 times per turn now. Before it was 3, and by the way, Buffalo is a... Uh, sell a friend to gain plus one plus one so buy sell i think it's cool that they're nerfing buy sell with the dog and the buffalo even though dog wasn't listed as a nerf i'm pretty sure it's still a nerf yeah buy sell was kind of really good in custom pack 
and I think it's good that they're changing it up a little bit. Puppy ability now only buffs plus two plus one. Before it was buff two two. I think puppy if you got a lot of them or even a level two is pretty good because you're basically buying a pair for two gold every turn and that's pretty decent. So I think the change maybe wasn't needed but I think it's good to have. Changed penguin ability to target two friends. This is a huge nerf to penguin. It used to have no cap on the amount of friends so up to four then they changed it to three and now they're changing it down to two. I have no clue if penguin will still be good especially when you could use dragonfly now maybe dragonfly will get more use. Uh, I guess we'll have to see. Vulture ability is now when two friends faint deal four damage to one enemy. So that's different before is with every friend with every friend faint deal two damage. So it's still dealing the same amount of damage technically though the the uh, activation happens less often. So that's going to be bad for Vulture. Uh, one, because of Pineapple. It'll help with Pineapple if you do lots of attacks, even if it's little damage because you're adding plus two to every one. So it will be doing a little bit less damage if you have Pineapple on it, which I'm assuming you should have. But also, when two friends faint, I mean, I feel like Vulture could still be okay, but I don't know how it's actually going to feel when you use it because having two friends faint is feels like a lot but we'll see canned food only buffs plus one plus one instead of plus two plus one i think it makes sense to have the stats the same either as a one one or a two two but yeah kind of sad because can is fun i guess we'll have to see i don't i guess maybe cat can was really good or just can in general was good so down to plus one plus one changed lobster to a three three and the ability to friend bot give it plus two plus two. Okay, so that's nerfs all around. I'm pretty sure it used to be a four or five. And whenever a friend was summoned outside of battle, give it plus two plus three. So now it's only plus two plus two. Um, Lobster was quite good for just buffing everything up. I still think it'll be okay as a plus two plus two, but yeah. Changed frilled dragon to a one one. I think that's huge. As a 1-2, Frill Dragon was really, really good. You could get two other faint animals and it would be a 3-4. Too good. I think 1-1 one, one is a good nerf. Changed Giraffe to a 1-3. I'm pretty sure Giraffe was like a 2-3 or a 2-4 before. Now as a 1-3, I mean it's still good for its scaling, but now you might have to give it like a meat bone extra. Changed Octopus ability to deal 6 damage to 1, 2, or 3 random enemies. I think this is a pretty cool change. I mean the Octopus is still dealing the same amount of damage as before. However, it's just dealing a different amount to a different amount of enemies as before. So, I don't know if it's necessarily a nerf, but it's cool. And lastly, Hippo is a 4-5. I honestly have no clue what the stats on the Hippo were before, but I guess this is a nerf. So yeah, new changes to this test server, it is up, I'll leave a link to the test server in the description. And yeah, let me know what you think of the changes, which one's your favorite, which one's your least favorite, and yeah, hope you have a nice day, and see ya.